guys, what's up? Jack Hutto here, and this is the Daily Recap. The first one we have today is regarding Twitch and their new community guidelines. So they've updated these and specifically their hateful conduct and harassment side of the terms and conditions. They have created new rules uh, and they've adjusted some old rules as well. On the website, Will has uploaded a article and he gives you a full rundown on the new and the adjusted Twitch guidelines. The guidelines are, are broken up into a few categories. The first one is hateful conduct. The second one is punishments for streamers, communities, and off Twitch content. And the last one is clothing. So there's a few big changes in there. There's a few small changes as well. So if you are a Twitch streamer and you are wanting to get the full update and understanding exactly of what these changes are, definitely check the first link in the description of the video and everything will be there for you. The next one is from Al and it is regarding Magic the Gathering, the card game, if you don't know what it is. So Channel Fireball are heading down under to run Australia's biggest Magic the Gathering tournament, the coveted Grand Prix in Sydney on April the 13th to April the 15th, which will see thousands of players compete in the team unified modern format for a chance at cash and glory. I don't know a lot about Magic the Gathering, but I know a little bit, enough to play and enjoy it. Uh, I go to a lot of events uh, for Magic the Gathering as well. It's really, really fun. It gets your mind going, and uh, these Grand Prix are awesome as well. They have pro players there. They have you know people that are up and coming into the pro leagues, and just people that just enjoy playing and competing in Magic the Gathering. You've also got uh, vendors around the, the edges as well, um, of the, sort of the main battle area. And um, it's really cool, you can check it out. You know, you can talk to a lot of people that play um, and a lot of people, and you can also learn a lot as well, which is also great. So if you are wanting to check out more details about when the Grand Prix is on and how you can head down, uh, check the second link in the description under Magic the Gathering. The next one is from Dez, and it is regarding Good Shepherd Entertainment, and they are to publish Namcop's Semblance. Good Shepherd Entertainment have revealed a new partnership to publish independent South African developer Nyamcop's world-busting puzzle platformer Semblance later this year on Nintendo Switch via the Nintendo eShop as well as on Windows PC and Mac for which the game had previously been announced. So, Semblance is a puzzle platformer where your soft, bouncy character and its soft, bouncy world are almost entirely deformable. An infestation of hard material has started to spread throughout the land, squish, squash, mold and deform yourself and the environment to solve challenging puzzles. Squeeze through tight spots and restore your delicate world back to life. So that sounds very intriguing, very odd, but very cool. Uh, so if you are wanting to learn more, Des has all the information there for you. He also has a link to the trailer there as well. So definitely check that one out. That will be the third link in the description. The next one is big, and it is from Nintendo. Nintendo have announced a Nintendo Direct, which will be happening tomorrow, March 9th, at 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, or 10 a.m. New Zealand Time, or what they have posted, which is 2 p.m. Pacific Time, and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So the Direct will focus on Switch and 3DS games coming in 2018. It will, also talk, it will also talk more about the recent announced Mario Tennis for Switch. Nintendo have recently also announced Nintendo Switch rewards via My Nintendo platform. Super exciting. Uh, we have no idea what else is going to be announced. So uh, is there anything that you're excited and hoping to be announced? Let us know in the comments. The last one for today is RuneScape. This is regarding RuneScape 3 and they have uploaded their patch notes 209 which is this week's recent patch notes. Uh, I am a couple of days late on this, so let's jump right in and see what they've updated this week. The first one is the options menu, which has been rearranged for a wider view. It allows world hopping easier, and it also gives you your player management tools there as well, settings and editor layout and those types of things. I think it's cleaner. I think that's really cool. So the second one, so players can now purchase items from the Dungeoneering reward store with the Gorgon outfit equipped even when they can only afford the cost of the discounted Dungeoneering token. The third one, ice dies have been added to the treasure trail collection log. Number four, the click area for players who have turned into trees using a ring of trees is now smaller. Number five, clicking on the currently selected bank tab now scrolls a player back to the top of the tab. Number six, feedback buttons were added 
enabling players to rate their current session and improving how we judge the success of our updates. That is this week's Patch Notes 209. If you want to learn any more, please check it out. We've also got the link to the forums in the description as well. And that's it. That is the episode for today. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to learn any more about anything I've spoken about today, head to goto.game for all of your news, reviews, and everything above and below that. Thank you again very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.